For my first video tutorial, I would like to show you how to create a survival horror video game inspired title screen for a fictional game that I'd come up with called Aberrant, like you see here. First thing you want to do is create a new file. You want its width at 1920, height at 1080, at a resolution of 150. And we're going to open up our first resource here an image that I had gotten from Fotolia.com. So make sure that the Move tool is selected and click and drag it into your new file. Press Control T to open up the free transform tool and then Control Zero to fit the entire image on your screen. Grab the corner of the bounding box and resize it and move it to fit into your file. And confirm. Press Control-0 once again to resize it to fit your screen. And go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Once again, Image, Adjustments, and Invert. At the bottom right of your screen, let's get an adjustment layer. We're going to go with Levels. And the information you'll be adding in here is 122. 0.39 and leaving this last one at 255. One more adjustment layer, hue and saturation. Make sure you click colorize. The hue will be 103 and the saturation will be 11. With your top layer selected and active, shift click layer one to select all three of those and then press control G to put them in a group and rename that group Ghost. And let's get a hold of our second resource here. This was a screenshot that I took off of Google. With your Move tool selected, click and drag it into your file. I'm going to give it a couple of slight adjustments to start with. Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate image adjustments and invert press control T and resize it just make it a little bit larger confirm then we're going to add a slight blur go to filter blur Gaussian blur at a radius of 1.5 pixels click OK and now we're going to add a slight distortion. So go to Filter, Distort, Shear. Along this line, click and drag left or right. In order to bend the image, you can add as many curves as you like. Something like that might be nice. Uh, make sure to click Repeat Edge Pixels and click OK. Now press Control T and rotate it slightly. Confirm that. Set its blend mode to screen and its opacity to 3%. And then just reposition it to somewhere about here. And now we want to get the actual title of the game in. So uh, select your type tool. For the font, we are using Your Murderer. This is a font you can pick up at 1001fonts.com. Set the font size to 90 point, sharp, left alignment, and make sure your foreground color is white. Click inside the image. And we're going to type in lowercase except for one letter. And I'll tell you why as it's done. Now, of, now, in this word, everything is lowercase, although it doesn't show on the font itself. But there's a difference between upper and lowercase when it comes to the letters, especially the two R's here. I didn't want them to look exactly the same next to each other. Once that is finished, click the check mark to confirm. And open up your character panel here. 
I want to set the tracking to 200, making sure that there's enough space between the letters. Select your move tool and put it somewhere near the top left corner. Uh, go back to your type tool. What we're going to want to do is adjust the positioning of the letters here. Make them slightly out of place, giving us something of an otherworldly, horror-esque sort of look. So what I want to do first is select, click within the letters, and select the last four of the word in your character panel. Move to the baseline shift, click and drag it to the left, which will drag the letters downwards. Once you get all of those letters down, reselect the last three. On the baseline shift, click and drag to the left to drag those down. And you're going to do the same with the last two letters here. And then select the letter O, bring that down just slightly. The letter H, on the baseline shift, click and drag it to the right to bring it upwards a little. Leave the B alone. Select your letter A and click and drag it downwards. And then right above the baseline shift, the vertical scale. I wanted to stretch it upwards a bit, so click and drag to the right to increase that vertical scale, stretching that A upwards until it's about, until the top is at the same level as the B. Once that's done, click the check mark above to accept the changes. Move your mouse over the text layer, right click and convert it to a smart object. This is so that later on, you'll be able to adjust the text to any other words you might like without having to redo any of the layer adjustments that are going to come afterwards. First thing we want to do is add a couple of smart filters. First is a Gaussian blur. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're also going to leave that at 1.5 radius. Next, we're going to distort it, so go to Filter, Distort, and this time we're going to choose Ripple. Leave the amount at 100% and the size at Medium. And now we're going to add a couple of layer styles to this. So, click on the FX symbol down at the bottom right, and the first layer style we're going to add is an Inner Glow. We're going to set the blend mode to normal and the opacity at 100%. Click on the color thumbnail to open up the color picker here. For its RGB values, we're going to enter 16, 90, and 8. Click OK. We're going to leave the technique at softer and edge, the choke at 0%. The size is going to be 7 pixels. Down here for the contour, open up the thumbnail panel and pick on the bottom row the second one from the right. Make sure you've selected anti-aliased and leave everything else as is. Without clicking OK, let's move down to an outer glow now. going to leave the blend mode at screen and the opacity is going to be changed to 50%. Click on the color thumbnail to open up the color picker and its RGB value we will enter as 53, 153, and 40. Click OK. Everything here remains the same, but the size for this, we're going to increase that to 50 pixels. 
and click OK. And now you want to make a copy of your text layer. But what you want to do is right click on the layer and choose New Smart Object via Copy. Under the effects, the eyeball next to Inner Glow, click that to turn it off. And we're going to add a new smart filter. So go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. At the amount at 100, Blur method is zoom and the quality is best. Move your center point for the zoom somewhere near the top left where the lettering is and click OK. Now create a new layer and fill it with black. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. And a second time, Filter, Render, and this time you'll choose Difference Clouds. And you want to clip this to the layer beneath it. So move your mouse in between the two layers, hold the Alt key until you see that symbol, and click to clip layer 3 to the text layer beneath it. Change its blend mode to linear dodge and its opacity to 55%. Then we're going to turn these into a group. So with that layer active and selected, shift click the bottom text layer and press Control G. Rename that group text. And now we're going to create the menu. So make sure that your text tool is selected and white is your foreground color. We're going to keep the font at you murderer. We're going to change the font size to 18 point. Now here what we're going to do is click and drag a text box open. Now open up your character panel. Make sure you have reset your vertical scale back to 100% and your baseline shift back to zero. Inside the text box Create for yourself whatever you would find in the game menu. I'll just keep it simple here. With new game, pressing return twice in between each line. Load game. Options and credits. And click the check mark to confirm. Grab your move tool and move it into place. Say about there is fine. And convert it to a smart object. So right click on the text layer and choose convert to smart object. I'm going to give this a layer style. So click on the little FX icon down at the bottom. I'm going to choose drop shadow. The blend mode is normal. The color we're going to use for this is 20, 156, and two. The opacity up to 60%. I'm going to change the angle here to 139. The distance is 17. Spread will remain at 0%. And the size will be 14 pixels. Moving down to the contour, open that up and select on the top row the one furthest to the right. Make sure you select anti-aliased and click OK. Okay, Create a new layer and select your shape tools. You want to have your custom shape tools selected. Make sure it is set to pixels and for the shape itself at the very bottom I've chosen the circle with the little triangle pointing upwards. And at any location you feel that the player would have their symbol at as they're making their selections, uh, just hold the shift key down, click and drag the shape to the size you like. Now we're going to add the same layer style to this shape from the text layer below. So hover your mouse 
over that text layer, hold the Alt key down, click and drag the layer style up to the shape. And now they both have the drop shadow. And then we're going to group these together. So shift click the text layer underneath the top, press control G and rename that group menu. And create a new layer. Zoom out from the image a little bit so that we can see what we're doing next here. Grab the elliptical marquee tool and outside the top left of the image, click and drag your circle to about here. You're going to want to finish this selection, just make it complete by grabbing these two corners from the top. So grab the rectangular marquee tool, make sure add to selection is selected here, and just add those in. Now that that's done, inverse the selection and fill it with black. Press Control D to get rid of the selection. Zoom yourself back in uh, by double clicking the hand icon on the left. And we're going to add a distortion to this. So go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. For this here, we're going to have the number of generators be 13. Under the wavelength, it's going to be 5 and 137. Amplitude will be 9 and 60. And for the scale, horizontal 100 and the vertical 22. Make sure that you have under type sign is selected. Repeat edge pixels and click OK. Set the blending mode to soft light. Add a blur by going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur at a radius of three pixels. Make a copy of this layer by pressing Control J and set its opacity to 75%. Create a new layer and fill that with black. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Under the Texture filter here, choose Grain. You want your intensity to be 48, the contrast 52, and the grain type horizontal. And then set the layer mode to Screen. And there you have your survival horror video game title screen. Thank you for watching.